There was yeah. something in Reagan that was unknowable, I come to find out. And even those that were close to him uh, would say that. That I don't, don't even know if Reagan was aware of it, but mm -hmm. there was something, the great communicator, there was a very private place in there that you could not breach. I'm sure that Nancy uh, knew what that was. But he was a very, very private person underneath it all. Yeah, well, I wonder, you know, be because of the remarkable role he played, there's something singular about that, right? That, that what would you say, integrity and vision that enabled him to see the true nature of the communist threat early, to fight that locally and to learn how to do it, and then to take that battle onto the international stage, right? Yeah. To make that the, the focal point of his presidency. Yeah, even when right. it was the, really not the issue. Right, like, right, Even right. when they, it, like most people were over here yeah. about that, he was, and that's what makes a great president, is yeah. when they can, they can yeah. point out, because they have all the info, and they could say, it's here that we yeah. need to go. Yeah. Yeah. And convince convince people that you know of what it is to go in the right direction, remind them of yeah. the principles. Yeah. And um not just the uh, the uh the issue of the day. Right. That, well that's something to like, get to get folks. Right, exactly. Well, that's something like a prophetic spirit, right? That ability to see the current situation clearly and to see into the future and to put your finger exactly in the right spot. And it, is, it isn't the case, generally speaking, that American presidencies are founded on, say, a foreign policy vision. Right? Mm -hmm. That's, foreign policy is important, obviously, but it's usually not central. And it's much easier for a president to default to some fast payoff local issue and to do that continually rather than to fight the battle he fought, which he really fought for decades, right? Yeah. Really, literally for decades. He was, it was the a first to say no to the Soviets. But his take was so brilliant. And it was disguised. And because his idea, and it wasn't originally his idea, it was, you know, it was, it was uh, from a lot of reading, research, and uh, just time spent. Um, he thought the answer was to bankrupt the Soviets. Mm -hmm, right. Their economy is uh, minuscule, even today, through, to what ours is. They had done so much military spending, and they were really, you know, things were so bad over there for their, uh, for the Soviet people, you know, the lines just to get food and this and that. And that Three he, hours came up, he comes up with bread. Star Wars, yeah. which didn't really exist. He got the idea from the movie you know, about lasers, you know, that are going to shoot down missiles in space. You know, it didn't exist. And Russians knew it didn't exist. At least 90%, mm -hmm. they knew it didn't exist, but it was that 10% that Reagan made him think about it. He didn't, he didn't back off of it at all. Yeah. And so, but it, that, and that's what, that's a weird blend of they, fiction and yeah, fact. Yeah, that right? really tore them up. Yeah, you know, and uh, so they were on this military spending, and it finally they just you know it, it just toppled. Mm -hmm. That's really what brought the Soviet Union down. Yeah, well, that's that's a remarkable climax to a life spent that you know that originated in local fighting with the communists in mm -hmm. the unions in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. So how did you prepare? To like, how much work did you do, biographical work and so forth? I don't know exactly how you would prepare. Well, for a lot a of it, like I, I yeah, a lot of it, I'd live through. The, I'd live through the times. So yeah. I had a lot to do, and, yeah. and I, I was a history buff to begin with. So, like, you know, I, mm. I, I remember the stuff. But I, uh, I watched YouTube was, uh, really great because you have all of those, uh, you have everything. Uh -huh. You can go back and, and. Uh, and see, uh, and you know, what do you get to? F I work outside in a lot, so I work on the uh, physical. How does a person walk, talk, and, th and then from that it goes inside, and I realize mm -hmm. why that is. For, for instance, like Reagan had like a crooked smile. Yeah, right. It's like you know, oh yeah, that's this good. Kind of held yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, right, right. And right. there was uh, and. 
after you do that a while, you realize, well, why is that? And it's oh, yeah. because that's why you look like him it's in because, the movie. That's so yeah, cool. There's got to be there's some muscles that are deadened it, in his face. Yeah. From what uh, I don't know, but that's you know that leads you to the the inside of 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 a person of uh, where they came from, and the way he walked, the way he uh, you know, uh, the way a person grooms themselves, the way they you know the the image they put out, and then there's the but really, when you get down to it, that's the outside, and you have all the news stories and stuff. But I talked to a lot of people who knew him personally, yeah, and um, yeah, and I think that's really where it formed. I didn't want to do an impersonation. That's the thing that scared me. More yeah, than anything of you know doing an impersonation. What's the difference? Of uh, because the the it's. The first, that impersonation is an act, you know. It's like something you'd see on Saturday Night yeah, Live. It's yeah. the, the getting down to who the person is, the real person, is quite another thing. A, a, a personal side. It really humanizes them. Yeah. And, and makes them singular. And I, I like to, uh, to get a part of a real person, of which I've played many. I'd like to tell, uh, tell it their story from their point of view. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, which not, is, well, not from the outside, right. but what we thought of them and not right. for me to really, I uh, try not to comment too much. I try to tell it from their point of okay. view. What I, is it like? Wh- the question is, what if I, me, mm-hmm. were this person yeah. in this situation? Right. Well, and that's also what you're transmitting to the audience, right? Yeah. That opportunity. So, Part of the reason that we go to see movies is because by watching the people on screen and by noting their characterization, we can adopt their aim. And as soon as we adopt, our, like our emotions orient themselves around aim. And so if you can embody a character's aim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. If you, can, or if you can characterize a person's aims, then you can invite the audience to adopt their perspective, right? And mm. that means they can live being Reagan for example, exactly. in the course of That's the movie. That's why we go to right. the movies. Ab- absolutely. And so yeah. we have a, okay, so, so how long did you play Reagan and what was the effect of that on you? Like, I'm, I'm curious, when you embody these characters so deeply, it has to, it, because you're really occupying a different perspective, it has to change you, I would presume. Um, you know, I find myself like never really asking that question. Um, I... It's it's something to me, it's about learning about, it's about learning about myself. Yeah, I don't know how exactly how to sometimes articulate that. Um, But, and I leave, I leave, I have learned to just leave the character at the end of the day, at the end of the take, in fact, just Uh like go do something else. Right, right. Because I've already, it's kind of like osmosis, I've already done all, all the work, and now just let the let the subconscious work. Right, uh, right. So it. you can leave it. See, there's one of yeah, the things so, that you learn as a therapist eh, is to because you're listening to people and yeah. you're trying to adopt their perspective. But if you take that home with you, then you you can't manage bad things, it over time. Bad things, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's indeed, not a they good idea. they have happened to me. Right. You know, yeah, I learned yeah. that when I played Jerry Lee Lewis. Because oh yeah, well, to tell <laughs> yeah, me about that because what, what, I I didn't believe that. Uh, yeah, at the set. To tell you the truth, and that was great balls of fire. Yeah, it was great balls of fire. And so, you know, I wound up at the, at the end about six months after uh, it came out, or maybe a year. Yeah, I was in rehab 